Let's get Jump Pro 15. If you go to the Week 1 folder and scroll down, you'll see a link for the virtual apps at Lebo. Click on that. You see that you have two options for running the V apps. One is to run it in a browser. That's not the recommended way, but it's pretty convenient and easy other than accessing the local files on your computer. The other one is to run VMware Horizon Client. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those. However, anything I do is going to be done using the VM Horizon Client later in class. So you'll have to figure out how to access your local files if you're going to run through the browser. First thing you do is click on this link here and you'll notice there is bookmarks and catalog. I've already bookmarked this one. If you go to catalog you'll see all of the things that uh, you have access to and you can bookmark it by clicking that button and then go back to bookmarks. So the first thing I want to do to run it in a browser is go to my name and then click on settings and then go to preferences and right now I've got it set as horizon client. I'm going to change that to a browser say save go back and now if I click on this it'll ask me for my username and password make sure I'm a Drexel person and then you'll see the horizon thing working in the background in a web page now this is right here is jump pro the first time you open it up it will have a welcome screen and some buttons down here to get to this screen just click the one that says close right here and that will get you to jump pro 15 okay so that's one option what's the other option come back here go to settings preferences change it back to horizon client say save you can click install right here and that will take you to the same place that you will get to by clicking on this link. So I'm going to click on that and you'll see Horizon Client for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, for iOS, Android, and so forth. I've got a Mac or a Windows machine I'm running this on so I'll go to Downloads and then I'm going to download. When it's done installing you're going to have to restart your machine so you'll get something that looks like this. Now I've already restarted my machine. So now that I've got that, I can come back here and go back. And now when I click Jump Pro, say close. And this looks like it's also in the browser. So that didn't work settings, preferences, for some reason it did not save. Now it's saved, so now let's try it again. Come back here, I'm going to close that, I'm going to click Jump Pro. Okay, now it says, do you want to open this? This is very important, don't miss this step. When you click on Open the VMware, there, the first time you do this, there's a little box that says, do you want to share your local files and you want to say yes for that. So once I do that, now I can come over here, open files, and if you scroll down under this PC you should see uh, this Z drive I think is your, going to be your local machine from what I understand. So wherever you saved your files on the local machine, not on the VM machine, uh, you can access those here. So hopefully that is good enough. To get us going, if you have questions, send me an email or contact Labotech at 215-895-2113. And the Horizon client, and I'll say, yeah, go ahead and do that.